Entertainment, Weekends Entertainment. I have a few things here. Um, first, just a little story behind how I acquired this guy. If you look behind me, you'll see a new addition to the shop. They're um, drill bit dispensers. I've got three for all my spare drill bits, uh, fractional. Next is all the spare imperial taps and dies. And then next is all the um, metric taps and dies. But how I wound up seeing that is I told you I went to this vintage uh, tool flea market swap meet. And what caught my eye in the, one of the first booths was one of these boxes. And I was looking at it because I've seen them before and I thought they were a lot bigger. And I'm looking at it and it's pretty small. And the guy you know, says um, $25. It was kind of beat up, so I wasn't really going to get it. But he goes, you know, lift that box that's on the top of it and you'll see what I paid for it. And the box that was on top of it were these. It was closed up, so I didn't see it. But I lifted the box up and it said $35. But then I started looking at these, and then that's how this deal came to be. So, um, got these guys. I'm loving them. They're small, three. Their instructions say don't stack them more than three at a time. I don't know why. You can, they're not that heavy at all. So that's the first thing. Second was I was watching a video not too long ago and the guy was on a mini lathe turning a pretty large diameter of steel and it was coming out really nice but he happened to mention that he's watched other videos of people turning um, different materials on a mini lathe and he can see them shake and vibrate. So I started thinking, um, how can I visually share the vibrations that are on my two lathes? And I kept thinking about it, and it suddenly hit me. Why don't I just do the Jurassic Park test? So the first thing you're going to see here coming up is the Jurassic Park test. So, not set on that. Um, the next thing that I have is everybody knows that you, uh, I already said, you guys help contribute, thank you, to the shop. And that was the funds that were used to buy the horizontal metal cutting bandsaw. And so I don't know if this is a review of the bandsaw or just sharing the opening, sharing the experience sharing the machine itself. So if you don't have a lot of room in the shop like I do, this thing works perfect. It's small envelope. I've got it down below on the new workbench. I just go over there, sit on the floor, and cut stuff off. And I'm loving it because things that normally a project I put off because I don't want a hacksaw, I'm already starting to do, uh, yeah, also you see behind me there's three blocks of aluminum, there's a fourth one in there. I just sat there and do, do, four blocks of aluminum real quick because I'm making four more tool holders um, for the new A to Z tool post. So, hope you enjoy this video and sharing the Wen metal cutting band saw. Alright, you're looking at the top headstock of the new lathe. Like I said, I was thinking about how do you visually share the vibrations that are coming out of this guy after I did all the rebuild on this lathe and the old lathe. So you guys can do this in your own shop. It's pretty easy, but I was thinking Jurassic Park when T-Rex was showing up, the camera zoomed in on a puddle and you could see the water moving. So there it is. Problem is it keeps fogging up on me because it's cold water out of the refrigerator. But turn it on and hopefully you can see the vibrations in there. So if I come up to about half. Now this is the four inch three jaw. The chucks are run all the way in. So they shouldn't be any kind of vibration coming out of the jaw. It's just everything else in here. Quarter spur turn it up to half. So there's kind of what's going on. Yeah, you can see the whole bottle shaking. Right? <laughs> That's worse than it's done before. 
Yeah, it's shaking a lot for some reason. I've never had that that movement before. And it kind of half speed settles out. Something was off. Almost three quarters. That's about three quarters. So it's pretty smooth there. I'm not sure why suddenly I'm getting a heavy vibration here down at around a quarter. Yeah, there's one particular speed that's got some harmonic, but... Alright, so let's take you over to the old lathe. i uh, move the bottle over there first, huh? I'm trying to stay at the same magnification here, or zoom level, so it's fair. And where is, there it is, all right, I think that's the same magnification, but, okay, so there's a collet in there, and let me just tighten it down, snug it up, so that's not a problem, on, and do the same thing, it's about a quarter turn, so you can see there's just very little water movement, take it up to about half, yeah, it kind of wants to vibrate there a bit. You can see the whole bottle is kind of shaking. See it all the way up, three quarter. There's three quarters. So the only thing I think that's causing these vibrations is the belt, the drive belt that's inside there, flopping all over the place. But there's the Jurassic Park test. I hope you guys try it and see what you get. All right. Here. It's finally here. <laughs> you just realize this is something because I'm realizing, you know, because I wanted to be able to look at videos and maybe reshoot it. Opening something for the first time, you can't reshoot it because you opened it. So, last video too, I realized the arbor was here in the way, so I put it down on the floor. And this guy definitely is heavy. They probably have a weight on it. So our team left over 50 pounds. So it was all I could do to get this thing up on the bench. And hopefully there's not a lot of cars or airplanes or whatever. I'll just have to stop to let them go by so you guys can hear what's going on. And the poor UPS driver was a gal, and she was having one heck of a time trying to lift it, so I just took it. Not like I'm a He-Man, but alright. Uh, I have no idea how, because it opens from the top, and it's up on the bench, and they want to put it on the floor and try to open it. Are these staples? No, no staples. So, box is in pretty good shape. I'm going to say team lift. It means two people. They have to work together to lift this thing up. Come on. Alright, okay. Whoa. Styrofoam on the top, just like all the other stuff. Five inch, ver oh, variable speed. I didn't even know that. I didn't realize that. Cool. So, to do this, it's going to be interesting. Very thick cardboard, which I'm sure. There's a reason for when it's that heavy, it's like double, triple cardboard. Stay down. Instruction manual on the top as usual. Need help? Contact us. 800 number. Something here. A bar. It's all greased up. Boy, is it greased up there. Looks like it's nice. That's pretty nice quality, guys. That's very nice quality. So, it probably says someplace made in China, but it has to be. Ah, holy cow. Big piece of styrofoam. Trash can is going to be full. Alright. Sure. Little pieces here and there. Some broken off stuff. Alright, I guess i got to get this thing on the floor and then try to get it back up on the bench. So, I'll bring you back. Okay, that took some work, and the styrofoam, it completely went through the styrofoam into the cardboard in the bottom of the box. So, this was in a separate compartment, don't know what it is yet. Probably wind up looking at the manual for this, it's all taped up. Nice color. Oh, the 
win orange. Wow. Whoa. I just put that there. One styrofoam power cord was just scraped in there. Oh, there's the variable speed. Oh, I think I have this thing backwards, though. Okay. Yeah, I've got it backwards. Things here on the back. Blade tensioner. Plus and minus. Oh, it's not heavy when you lift up this end. But this end's going to be... Well, not that bad. Half and half is okay. Holy cow. This way? No. It goes the other way. Yeah, I think it goes this way. No, because the power switch is here. All right, I don't know. It's got to be the front. This has got to be it. You just have to reach over. Yeah, because your controls are here. Oh, they got a reset button for overcurrent. Nice blade. How do you lift it up? Something's locked. There's a locking pin here. And it goes up. Wow. Oh, and it stays put. All right. How do you make it cut? It must be something that you loosen up, I think. So I'm going to be reading the instructions. Gee. I'm not even going to turn this thing on yet until I read. Yeah, that's nasty. That needs to be cleaned up. It doesn't even feel nice, but again, it's just a picky me. Holy cow, I'm going to say five inches, really? Why just five? This looks like, oh. No. What's five inches? Five inches is this. So, yeah, you probably could push it to six, maybe. Because this is going to open up how far. Boy, that's like nasty buying and it's free. Buying and free. So it looks like there's a little bit of work. Who's that? FedEx is there. I'm ready to shut the motor off. Where is five inches on this? Boy, I'm going to have to take this whole lead screw apart. Boy, it's jamming up here. That's nasty. I'm going to try just cleaning this off. definitely going to be uh, wobbled a little bit. Well, I'm not even going to have anything close to five, I don't think. It's way out here. So that's a kick. I don't know. Oh, angles. You can do angle cuts here. They've got a gauge on it. It's set on zero degrees. I'll have to check that out. Blade tension. A bunch of different things. Oh, this can come out. Interesting. That's one of those weird, but I guess there's the ball bearings for keeping the blade stiff, and it's easier to keep the way out here, the skinnier cuts. I should probably just turn it on from the front. Huh? Alright, we'll wait for FedEx to leave. So I know the camera's really amplifying that like crazy. This is going to work out really nice. Where's the arrow going? Oh, that way, because the teeth are that way. It should be cutting that way. That's cool. Whatever that is. Oh, kind of rubber feeling. Yeah, it is rubber because it bends. So I don't know what all these pieces are for. Again, yeah, I got four. Oh, it's the feet. It goes on the corners. How nice is that? You get rubber feet with this thing. I can't let I can lock it. Lock it, lift it, and stick it on there. Look at that. Sweet. Now you can have chips go underneath it where you can't get. <laughs> well, at least I know it's not going to be moving around because these are soft feet. Yeah, I'll put that on later. I don't even know what this rocks for. It's got a nut on it, threaded, and it's really greasy. But it looks real nice. <laughs> so, now you could guess, yeah.
brown grease, red grease. Let me mess with it, figure it out, and I can bring you guys back. Alright, zoom in a little bit here. Did some reading, some checking, and you know you can do angles and <laughs> interesting. So this is the piece of plant. This is all moving sideways. So I still really have to take this apart, figure it out. Because I can see as I tighten this up, this is going broom, 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 broom. So there's problems there. Why you really need this, I don't know. So I don't think I'm going to be using it, but it'd be nice if you want to just quickly cut off a bunch of pieces exactly the same. Um, also figured out it's manual. You turn it on, it lights up, but you got to pull the trigger to do it. And I'm on the slower speed. And pretty fast. <laughs> So for this, I guess I'm just going to try it. I haven't cut anything with it yet. Let's go to slower speed and see what happens. I don't know how hard you're supposed to push. It's going pretty fast. Well, they also say for blade life, you should use some kind of lubricant. So, I guess good old motor oil again, I don't know, <laughs> coat the whole blade maybe. Then you coat the back of it. Not pushing too hard. A lot of chips. This is going to be fun. Let's start cutting everything up. All right. Using that up. This was the piece that got caught in the miter saw, so I'm not sure if it's close enough, but you can see major pieces of piece chunks missing. I mean, it even grabbed in there. So, I would say get one, guys. This is kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, I guess it, uh, it went all over the bench here a bit, the chips, so. But it should be easier to clean up. <laughs>